Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Karen Yankovic, and this is Women Supporting Women. And I am here with my friend Kelly O'Neill today. Kelly is a brand marketing expert for next generation, for the next generation of thought leaders. And we are live today on LinkedIn, um, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So Woo! we just went out everywhere today. We went out everywhere today, Kelly. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good, good. So wherever you're watching this, if you're watching live, Feel free to comment if you're watching on the replay. Still feel free to comment. Kelly or I will get back to you um, with whatever questions you have. Um, but I wanted to bring Kelly on because, you know, Kelly and I have known each other for I don't know, a year or two now. And there's so much overlap in how we support our students and our clients. And I really wanted to bring Kelly on because, you know, she is of the same mindset as me, which is let's stop trying to sell our pens for a dollar. Let's try to find a distributor that wants to buy 10,000 of them, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, so I thought it would be fun to have a conversation around that today. I would love it. Yeah. So tell everybody a little bit about you, Kelly. Sure. So first of all, thank you for having me here today. So I have been doing brand marketing and uh, strategy work for almost 30 years. Um, and literally since I was 19 years old is when I started in corporate America in an internship. And then I got hired on and I worked in an, a brand agency while I was going to college. So I had been doing this since the dinosaurs pretty much roamed the earth at this point. <laughs> and uh, I started my own company. In and I've been doing it longer than that. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but okay. <laughs> So I, uh, I started, I left corporate America after a really successful career in Silicon Valley and I started my own company in 2001. And so for the last, you know, more than 20 years, I've been running my own business where I've been helping entrepreneurs not only position themselves as the go-to authorities in their industries, but really helping, uh, really helping them strategically scale their businesses from six to seven to eight figures and even beyond with some of my, my top tier private clientele. So that is what I do. And most recently, I've really been focusing in, which is why I love what it is that you're up to. I have been focused in on the women's market and really helping women develop their thought leadership messaging and their brand platforms so that we can disrupt the status quo in our industries and really rewrite the rules of business on our own terms. Because obviously the way that it's going now is not working for anybody. Yeah. So yeah. that's, that is what I am up to. Yeah. Well, what used to work is just not working anymore. It just it isn't, work. you know, um, you know, it, it's, it, all the things, it, it's interesting, all the things I learned 10, 20 years ago about online marketing, it's just not working the way it used to work anymore. You know, we're just not getting the same kind of visibility, which means we're not getting the same opportunities to to be magnetic, right, to, to bring people into us. So we've got to be more strategic. And I am so anti-cold calling that I don't want to do that either. So actually, let me see if I can find it really quickly, Kelly. Hold on. I think it's right next to me here. Okay. I just cleaned off my desk because I was doing a project. I like this is my favorite graphic because I like to say like we're not looking for the bullseye, right? We want to we want to we want these rings, right? Who are these people? How do we get visibility? Who could you know like when when I like right now, right? I'm introducing you to my audience. That means that that gives you access to that the outer rings, right? Because right. because you get you have you have my borrowed credibility because I'm saying you all need to meet Kelly, right? Yeah. So that's kind of I think the way which is really referral marketing, which is so much more, it just feels so much better to me. It's so much more heart centered than just blasting a bunch of people with a bunch of crappy social media posts, right? One million percent. So one of the things that I'm talking a lot about with my communities is, and one of the things that I also have is, as, as you know, Karen, is I have a program and I've done a lot of teaching. I'm actually one of the world's uh, foremost experts in marketing to affluent clientele. So I am not about the mass meat marketing craziness. That is not my jam. Um, and that's also part of what I'm talking about in rewriting the rules. You know, the way that, and, and so forgive me guys, but oh. ladies, you know what I'm talking about? Like the old bro marketing strategies mm -hmm. of like getting out there and slamming people, like, like slamming people with, with, or spamming people with content and, you know, these heavy convert, like they're just not working. They're not working for us women. And they're just not, 
I mean, maybe they're working for those guys in a specific segment of the audience, but it's not effective when you are trying to market to premium clientele. Um, and also the other thing is, is that that way of doing business, because I really do think it even goes beyond the marketing. It's that way of doing business, that hustle and grind. In fact, you can, guys can see behind here. This is one of my favorite sayings. Strategy is the new hustle. Oh, I love that. I love yeah, that. That's like one of my core taglines. Like it is no longer about doing all the things. And quite frankly, we as women yes. are yes. not meant to work I got that this. Way. Like this is what I'm all about. I want ease in my life and in my business. I am yes. not looking to be hustling and who, who, I don't know. I just don't want to do it. And you know, Kelly, for me, it doesn't mean I'm not doing a lot of that stuff, but, but the intention for me is more audience building than lead generation. If that makes sense. Right. It's more positioning myself as a thought leader. If, as I do, as a group diving into TikTok, if you can believe that. So we're diving into some TikTok videos and, you know, and we do post a little bit on Instagram and Twitter. And I mean, I have, a lot of Twitter followers. And it was back in the day, I got leads from that. I, I haven't gotten a lead from Twitter and I don't even know how long, you know? Right. Um, so to me, that's audience building. And then, you know, it's the relationships though that lead to the business building. It is the relationships. And I think that, you know, one of the things that I'm really exploring with my clientele now is in this, in this paradigm of like rising above being an expert into thought leadership, you know, when, when we're talking about rising in and even with our content marketing, and, and this is something where LinkedIn especially is so important to be able to create that thought. Like, it's not about the tools, right? right. It's not it's not about the tools. I mean, and it is about the tools because we need those tools to be able to disseminate right. our message. Right. But it really is about having a, a more elevated conversation about how we want to do business in our industry. So right. it's it's having these conversations about what's no longer working and what do we see in our industries that's not creating the results. You know, I know that that you're doing a lot of work with the great resignation. Um, you know, the, the way that the pandemic has affected businesses, now is the time for us right. to really reevaluate like what are the things that we had been doing. And what's no longer working for us, not only in our businesses, but in our lives. And you and I had had a private conversation about this. You know, I'm I'm going to be 50 next year. And the way that, I mean, I cannot believe I'm going to be that. Like, <laughs> don't I even say like, that. I'm, I, got, I got a lot of time on you. Don't worry about okay. it. Well, I, you know, but I'm still, I just like, that's like the first time I actually said that out loud. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be 50 <laughs> um, But you know what? That's fine. 50 is a new 40. So. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I, I don't want to do business like I did in my twenties. Yeah. And I, like, I want more vacation. I want more free time. I want a smaller organization. You know, I know I, I, I just yes. actually, we are so aligned with so many things that we're doing. It's so funny, but yeah. I also want to still create that impact and I still yes. want to help entrepreneurs. And I also still want the profitability and income in my business. So how do I restructure my organization or how do we restructure our organizations? How do we restructure what we're working on and what we are, are how we are serving our communities and clientele? And then also what's going on in our industries that's no longer working? I mean, one of the things that you and I have had conversations about is the whole, the whole coaching market. I, right. Yeah. It's the whole coaching market, right? And I, so not to offend any coaches out there, no. but I think that the business coaching market has been a huge detriment to entrepreneurs. And what's not working in our industry and how do we need to change that to be able to serve our clientele? What are those conversations that people are not having in their industry? It's not just about, you know, it's about rising above, like the next level of marketing is about rising above right positioning yourself as an expert and just constantly doing how to's and really having those conversations that are, that are meaningful to our audiences and meaningful to our market. That's yeah. the, those are the conversations I want to have. I love that Kelly. And you know, you mentioned the great resignation. What I find is less, it's less, it's even less about the great resignation and more about a lot of women are going, I just don't want to go. I just don't want to do it anymore. Like yeah. I've seen a new way. I've seen another way. And now I don't want to go back to that. So what else is there for me? And I'm going to look over here for a second because I have another screen. There's an article that came out. I literally still have it up on my screen. Um, I don't know when it came out, but it just came across my desk recently. 
it doesn't have a date on it, or at least not that I can find quickly. But basically, it's a study, a study carried out by Ireland's Trinity Business School. It basically says that contractors, so these are people that are leaving their full-time job and becoming 1099, like full, you know, self-employed, generally earn 58% more than the equivalent employees at the average job, and the average job satisfaction levels are 80%. And then this is a really interesting one, Kelly. This should make you feel good at 50. Self-employed and project economy workers over 60 are among the highest earners in the sector. So what this is basically saying, so this is saying that, you know, confidence level remain high among, among freelancers, even in the face of, of the pandemic. So what this is saying is that statistics are showing that these people that are leaving their corporate jobs and moving into um, entrepreneurialism or co contractor type position are faring really well. Right. Yes. They're paid 58 percent more than they were paid in their jobs on average. Right. Um, and they're they have higher job satisfaction levels and they're among the and the, the older you get, the higher you're getting paid. Right. Because instead of you having the ageism against I can't hire this person, she's over 40 or over 50 or over 60 or over 70. You're getting like, no, I got years of experience that I'm bringing to this project. Yes. Right. So, yes. so it's so it's actually I get like excited by this stuff. Like it's really pretty. It's pretty cool. But. But people like you and me have to do our jobs so let people know that this is available to them. Because a lot of times when you come out of corporate, you don't even know this is an option to be able but, to. But here's the thing that makes me nervous with all these people coming out of corporate. And this is where I have such a, a, a beef with the, the business coaching market. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a lot of the people that got into business coaching, and, and this is where people have to be careful. A lot of people who got into business coaching don't have business experience. They I got into they got in with the coach who basically said, do you want to earn a lot of money? You better start calling yourself a business coach. Yeah, and but I, don't, I hear that. But I think that we can show them a better way because they're coming out of they're coming out of corporate with years of experience. As long completely. as they're pulling from that experience as a consultant or, you know, and even if it is a coach, then, you know, get some coach training so that you understand how to make that transition from employee to 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 real coach. Right. But they've probably been doing a lot of this work for many, many years. They've got the expertise. Right. But that, yeah, just, no, so maybe I didn't say that. Correct. Maybe I okay. didn't say that exactly the way I meant was I'm scared for them coming out of corporate and then basically saying like, hey, I know how to do my area of expertise, but I know that I need a coach and getting in with these business coaches that don't have the experience in actually building business. I got it. I hear what you're saying. You know what oh, saying? That's, and that's, oh, that's, and that's absolutely, I, mean, now I, I completely agree with that. Yeah. And I leading them down a path to the hustle and grind and yes. to creating another 80 hour a week job, because the only way that those methodologies of doing all the things are going to work is if they hustle and grind. And so they're like literally leaving one job and yes. then they're not utilizing strategy in right. their in building their businesses and they're getting right back into another job because they have these inexperienced business coaches right. that don't know what they're doing. That's right. my favorite. I agree. I, I do agree with that. And you know, here's the thing too. I think a lot of times, at least I this was my this was true for me. When I was in corporate, I didn't think I needed a coach. I thought like you just need to know something, you buy a book, you take a course, whatever. I, I can't live without my coaches now. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's so important that you have a, a mentor that has done it, not a, you know, somebody that has done it and that has proven um, successes. Right. And, and a lot of times people coming out of corporate, they don't really, they have, it's a real, it's, you know, it's one of the things that I've realized over the last few years, Kelly, as, as people are coming through my world that are in this situation, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost more about an, an identity shift. Right. Their identity is completely changing from employee to business owner. And yes. that right there is something that they need to embrace so that they can be the CEO of their, even if it's their 10 hour a week business, right? Whatever it is, 10 hour a week or, you know, whatever you want. Um, so it's an identity and they've, and, and, and making that shift and doing it well, you, why would you want to do it alone? Right. Get a good mentor, yeah. get somebody that knows how to do it and has done it already. Yes. And can hold your hand through it so that you can more quickly get to the other I mean, side. It's, it's literally just, it's, it's just, I, I'm, it's not smart not to. And I actually, I actually just did, I recorded, um, that's why my voice is a little hoarse. I recorded eight hours of content yesterday. I saw um, that. I saw you did that. Crazy. Um, but it was crazy, but I just wanted to get it all done so that I can enjoy my summer, which, so now it's all done so I can enjoy mm -hmm. my summer. 
So, um, but that's, that's one of the things, right? Like you, you don't want to do this alone. Like the first right. thing I did when I got out of corporate, because again, I was an expert in brand marketing, and public relations. I had no idea how to run a business. Right. I'd, right. Uh, I had no idea. Sorry. Uh, did you hear my puppy? That, <laughs> my, my, my puppy, his sister is probably bothering him. I had no idea how to run a company. I had no idea how to build. I knew how to market and get clients. That wasn't the problem because right. that was my right. expertise. But right. I had no idea how to do that. And so absolutely, like it is, it, it's really like business suicide to not get mentorship because it is so expensive to try to figure out all the stuff on your own. And quite frankly, you don't need to know all the things. You need to know the people who know all the things. Right. And my referring right. back to my previous comment about coaching is make sure that you get a mentor that knows all the things and knows how to utilize multiple different strategies based on you and your business to be able to create those results. And, and Kelly, we've not talked about this, so I don't know if you agree with me on that, but I feel like if you have a mentor or a coach that says, and we're gonna help you hit six figures, run. Because six figures as a business owner, you might as well work at McDonald's. You'll make as much, you'll have as much money in your in your bank account. You know, you want a business coach and a business mentor that under now listen, if what you're looking for is to just bring an extra twenty or thirty or fifty thousand dollars into your household, that's cool. That's fine. But if you want to replace your income, yeah, and you were making six figures as an as an employee, you need to be shooting for at least a quarter million dollars top line revenue as a as a consultant or a contractor. And what these stats are saying is that it's there, the money's there for you, right? But you need a coach or a mentor that thinks thinks like that. Uh, what one million percent? In fact, I actually just recently um, in really restructuring my business to be more in alignment with the life that I want to create. I won't, I personally don't even work with people unless they are coming out of corporate and they've got a lot of business experience. I won't even consult with people unless they've already hit six figures. Right. That's for me personally. Right. Right. So, because what I do, that's my strength is not the newbie start startup phase. My strength is helping people scale to seven, multiple seven and eight figures and beyond. Right. That's what, that's what I work on with my clients. Yeah. yeah. But I totally agree. Like if you're just aiming for, like, I hope if you're aiming for a hundred that you're working part time. Right. And that you understand that part, not much of that money is going like, think at least cut it in half. You have to at least cut it in half. That would go in your bank account. By the time you pay the taxes and by the time you pay all the things you need to pay as an entrepreneur and your VA and you know, your mail service and the millions of other things that, you know, I a million percent agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. So run, run. That should be our, run. that should be the thing. Run fast. Run. If somebody says, run. my strength is to build your business to six figures. Run. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So Kelly, what are you up to these days? So let's see, let's, let's, let's see what I'm up to. I'm actually in the middle right now, currently of a rebrand. So the market has changed a lot in our businesses and, and just really like the, not only has the market changed in our industry, but the market for our clientele has changed and needs have changed. And one of the things that I talk a lot with my community members about is really understanding what's going on in the market. And now is the time for people to be focusing, like not only up leveling, but focusing in their business. So for people that are doing a million and two things, that's like, so 2018, like we can't, we cannot do that anymore. So one of the things I've been doing is refocusing in my business and getting, you know, and again, like really up leveling. I've been up leveling my level of clientele. I'm focusing more on my brand agency clients and on my strategy clients. And then I've also been working with uh, the women, women thought leaders, because we need to reevaluate how things are being done. Like, you know, Don Draper, for those of you guys who watch Mad Men, which is one of my favorite series of all times, um, Don Draper is the main character. And he said, if you don't like what's being said, change the conversation. And I think that in, in regards to what's being said about influential women leaders, I, I don't like what's being said. I don't like what's happening in our industry. We need more of a voice and we need to be able to rewrite. Like, again, if you go to a lot of these speaking engagements, it's a lot of, a, a lot, it's a very male dominated yeah. industry. And, and, and I don't actually, it's, I don't blame the men for that. I think that a lot of right. women don't have their strong, they don't have their strong thought leader, thought leader business. They're positioning themselves as just experts 
as opposed to really rising above and and you know what's what's the elephant in the room that no one's having a conversation that no one's having a conversation about like let's have that conversation right and you know again like glorifying the hustle and grind and i, I am not down for that you know, I, I, you know i am not down for doing all the things i'm not down for a lot of the archaic ways that people are telling entrepreneurs to build businesses because it's just not necessary you and I both know that if you want a really lucrative, a profitable business, the number one way to do that is to build your relationships, right? It's to, it's to have a unique point of view, you know, focus in on your genius and build relationships. That's where it's at. And so that's really what I'm working on with my clientele. I've got an event coming up called Epic, um, which is exclusively for accomplished women leaders who are ready to disrupt the status quo and rewrite the rules in their industry and develop their thought leadership platform. So that's, you know, that is what I am, I am working on right now. I've got an amazing community of, of a network of human beings who are, uh, and women who are uh, in my community, my up-level community, which is my network for high net worth, for, for women entrepreneurs who are going after high net worth clientele. We collaborate because that's the other place that I, that, that I feel like is missing. It's like, and it's not that I don't do the things too. Like I have a podcast, a new podcast launching. I've, you know, it's, I'm obviously here on social media talking to you, but I'm very relationship driven. That is where it's at. And I'm also very collaboration driven. We don't need to know all the things. We need to leverage other people's genius and other people's networks, which is exactly what you and I are doing right here. Yep, exactly. Exactly what we're doing right here. Yeah. So that is what I am up to. So Kelly, how can people get more information about Epic or your podcast or anything you've got going on? How can they, do you have a community they should check out? Sure. Absolutely. So first of all, connect with me on social. I act like, and, and jump on my VIP list. If you go to kellyoneal.com, you can jump on my VIP list. And we don't like, I don't like, I'm not one of those people that like spams you with emails. In fact, most people tell me like, you don't email enough. So I, I email when I have something to say, and I email when I have something that's important, but you can actually jump on there. You can also get on my text list there because I have a community text list that I, that I actually text back and forth with people. I love that. I love the personal relationships. If you want to learn more about the Epic event, you'll be able to learn that through my, my website. My brand new site is coming out in just about two weeks here. So it'll have all the information on it. Um, but you can check that out at uh, epiceventinvitation.com. And if you want to learn about my community, just send me a message. Just send me a message of what how I can support you. I am I all that. I want to support women in building out their their platforms and really their dream businesses that work on their terms and i i don't subscribe to the fact that at all that everyone's business needs to look the same not everyone wants to build like a massive empire and not everyone wants to build just a practice like we've got to figure out what people want to do and help them build that and then i also to tons of my partners i have amazing partners uh, in like, like Karen, you know, in LinkedIn, I've got social media, I have all different kinds of partners in all different aspects of business. So I would be happy to learn about what it is that you need and support you in finding it. Awesome. Awesome. Kelly, that's awesome. Thank you so much. This has been fun chatting. I feel like this is good. I feel like we got a lot across. We got our main point across. Yes. And, uh, you know, if anybody wants to learn more about Kelly, you, she just linked, told you kellyoneal.com, right? That's your website. Yep, just go to kellyoneal.com and from there you'll be able to list. In Perfect. two weeks you'll be able to find all the things. And in, awesome. in the meantime, you but if you get on your VIP list, you'll they'll hear about all the things, right? Oh, you'll be able to hear about yeah. all okay. the things. And I'm also actually and now I'm actually going to be doing a new series. Um, and I have to have you on this. I have okay. to have you on this. It is a new series that I'm gonna be doing, a live series called Rebels with a Cause. And Ooh. it's all about interviewing in these short interviews women who are shaking things up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm in. I'm in. I can't wait yeah. to see it. All right, guys. Yeah. Connect with Kelly. It was good to hang out with everybody again today on a Monday afternoon. Um, have a great week. And Kelly, thanks thank for being you. here. And thank you for having me.